This week on Council Bluffs News, sweet summertime. Harris Casino announces the lineup for its 2015 Sturco Summer Concert Series. Member Showcase. Businesses part of the Council Bluffs Chamber of Commerce have the opportunity to network with people in the community while job seekers put their best foot forward. And Marguerite Goodenow joins us to talk about an annual fundraiser for the VNA that helps the less fortunate. That and more all in this week's Council Bluffs News. Welcome to this week's Council Bluffs News, I'm Marie Zeitner. The Stir Concert Co. releases its 2015 concert series. IWTV student Creighton Evans has more from the announcement party. The calm before the storm. And as the doors open, the excitement builds. April 2nd, a much anticipated party at the Stir Live and Loud Bar in Harris Casino. Tonight we announced the 2015 Stir Co. Concert Series lineup. Missy Harderson, the Director of Entertainment for Caesars Entertainment, takes the stage to kick things off. I'm excited to uh, reveal the lineup. You know, every year it gets harder and harder to keep it under wraps. Never shut up and let the videos be part of the world. And we're excited to have you guys here tonight. As slides of the bands are presented, Variety is in no despair. This summer, fans can hear rock from George Thorogood and Billy Idol to country band Little Big Town and alternative sensation Alt-J. Um, it's a partial lineup, it's not a full lineup, so we will be announcing more throughout the summer. Um, but we announced 16 great shows and excited for, for the, the weather and the summertime. Local celebrities are very impressed as well. Hot Boy, a DJ for Power 1069 in Omaha, giving his opinion on the bands coming to town. They announced a lot of bands, and some of the bands you've seen before uh, put on great shows, and I look forward to seeing a lot of those bands coming back this year because, you know, bands, they change it up. Uh, but then they also added some, one that really, really jumped out at me was The Roots. The group Roots, famous for being in the house band for the late night show with Jimmy Fallon, comes to town July 18th. With a loaded set list, tickets are sure to go fast. Tickets um, will be available on April 10th um, at stircove.com or any Ticketmaster outlet. 2015 marks the 12th season for the Stir Concert Cove, bringing bands from all over the world. For CBTV 17, I'm Creighton Evans. Thanks, Creighton. As we take a look at the upcoming concerts, things get started with Judas Priest on May 20th, then June features a whole host of big names as the Cove hosts five concerts throughout the month. The fun continues into July with seven more performances scheduled, and you can see the names. The list is not short on star power. Right now, the final show date is set for September 10th with the legendary Billy Idol. Stay tuned to CBTV 17 as more shows are announced throughout the summer. Live Well Council Bluffs wants your gently used shoes. The nonprofit organization is collecting all kinds of tennis shoes, boots, high heels, and more from now until Earth Day on April 22nd. The drive is a fundraiser for Livewell Council Bluffs, but Executive Director Sandy Hole says that's only part of the mission. Funds to Org actually takes the shoes, and, and then they work with developing countries such as Haiti or Senegal, places that um, they help people start micro businesses, um, and then shoes are sometimes just donated for people who need them. Hole says based on a statistic, 600 million shoes end up in landfills in the United States every year. Donating reusable shoes can help keep them from filling landfills as they contain chemicals and don't decompose very well. Drop-off locations are the Live Well Council Bluffs office at City Hall, Council Bluffs Recycling Center, and the Council Bluffs YMCA during operating hours. Call 712-328-4974 for more details. 
City Council approved the River's Edge Housing Subdivision at the meeting March 23rd. Now here's Don Gross with more details about what the plan entails and what the next step is for the Playland Park project. You know, last Monday we uh, had the council uh, approve the uh, subdivision for the, we call it River's Edge, which is Playland Park, which will create seven blocks there. So that is, the sub preliminary subdivision essentially is how we're going to grade the site, how we're going to sewer it, how we're going to water it, how we're going to drain it. Uh, so that plan was approved. We've got rezoning actions going now um, for the whole development. And um, the rezoning will go through April and should be finalized. Uh, early May, we will create a final plat, which actually is a survey document that creates the block structure and the legal descriptions so we can then dispose of property uh, to private developers. And the other thing we're working on is preparing the plans and specifications for the public improvements. We're going to do that in two phases. Um, I think at the next council meeting we will have a resolution set a hearing on the plans and specs for the grading, um, storm sewer, and sanitary sewer. We're in a process of preparing those plans. I say we're probably 50% done. That I think we're looking at bidding out sometime in August and probably having a contract in September and giving a proceed order in October. Um, and that'll go through the winter, um, probably the spring, and we hope to be completed by, I think, somewhere around August of 2016. It's an opportunity for area businesses to show off their newest products and a chance for job seekers to get their foot in the door. IWTV student Colette Stellinga has more. From employers <laughs> to those looking for their dream job to the personalized products. More than 100 businesses have booths lined up to show off their latest products and services at this year's first primetime showcase and job fair. But they want more than customers. These businesses are looking to hire. This is a great opportunity for our businesses to promote themselves. It's also a great opportunity for uh, workers looking for work uh, to come in and talk to some of our employers. This is definitely not a one-stop shop. The 106 vendors here are looking for people who have a passion for the outdoors to people who like to drive. There is a different opportunity for everyone including Kevin Graham. I am unemployed looking for work, so something hands-on, maybe mechanical, something like that. Sponsored by a host of local companies, including CBTV17 and Iowa Western, the public is also able to learn more about different degrees to get them closer to that dream job. Automated robotic systems, um, talk to them a bit. Um, there's a two-year college degree you can get for it. Uh, Iowa Western has the programs. Iowa Workforce Development is also a sponsor, helping each person find a suitable job while helping local businesses attract new, hardworking employees. You now there's a lot of people looking for employees, and so they'll do anything that they can to try and find those employees. There's no shortage of a good time either. Each booth has its own personality, from food to games to free items, with every element representing a business in a unique way. People are really friendly, so it's, it's a lot better than I expected. Overall, Munt considers the event a huge success. We've opened it up to the general public now. A lot more people here than there were last year. It's, it's better than I expected. I'll say that. This is the second time the Chamber has put on a primetime showcase, but this is the first time they've combined it with a job fair, giving Council Bluffs the best of both worlds. For IWTV, I'm Colette Stellinga. If you were unable to make it out to the job fair, Iowa Workforce is always willing to help you in the search for a new job. Just go to iowaworkforce.org. In news around the Bluffs, St. Albert National Honor Society students are being proactive in helping the community. April 2nd, NHS students host their second blood drive of the school year. People 16 and older are welcome to donate thanks to a partnership with the Red Cross. That's what kind of what we're doing here is we're giving back to the community through, um, through the blood drives trying to help save lives and it's a great way to get all the students involved so that way when they go off after college that they can do the same thing and, and continue to save lives. 
According to St. Albert School officials, this year's blood drive brought in roughly 65 donors. To thank students for their help in organizing the drive, the Red Cross will award a $1,000 scholarship to the student who gets the most donations during the event. The fourth annual Easter Egg Dash has kids scrambling for eggs at the Rails West Railroad Museum Easter Sunday. With big kids on one side and little kids on the other, it's a free-for-all when the bell rings and the carrot drops. This year we had about 1,600 eggs out there and the kids ended up with baskets overflowing with, with eggs and candy, so nice turnout. There is a $2 cost for the kids to participate. Proceeds this year will go toward the renovation of a recent addition of a 1949 Chicago Northwestern dining and lounge car. Iowa Western is going green, or at least going to the greenhouse. April 1st, the Iowa Western Horticulture Club hosts their annual plant sale in the Dodge Hall Greenhouse. Gina Swoboda, Associate Professor of the Turf and Landscape Management Program, says this and other plant sales are beneficial for turf and landscape management students. It's given them a great experience. They learn customer service. Um, they learn about selling and marketing products. And of course, then it's, it's helped you know, with scholarships and conferences and so forth. The Horticulture Club has hosted plant sales for the past eight years, including Valentine's Day. This is the last plant sale the club will host. Coming up on Council Bluffs News, the Reaver Bee covers a career fair for students on the campus of Iowa Western. And up next, Marguerite Goodenough from the Visiting Nurse Association joins us to talk about the 7th Annual Cooking for VNA fundraiser. This is a curriculum of classes for different sizes of families, singles, uh, many different um, types of groups of people. This new dad is picturing a tree house in the sky, but, but he's, he's ignoring, ignoring the instructions. instructions. Good luck, big guy. His kids know that he's building without a clue. Never been so good with nails and glue. Now we're trapped inside a box. I hope mom knows what to do. Mom! Mom! See, you don't have to be perfect to be the perfect parent. Thousands of siblings in foster care will take you just as you are. Schedule your campus visit today. Iowa Western. The world is waiting. Welcome back to Council Bluffs News. I'm Marie Zeitner. Joining me in studio today is Marguerite Goodno, a volunteer with the VNA. Thanks for being here, Marguerite. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, go ahead and tell me a little bit about what the VNA does. Well, many people are familiar with some services from the VNA, home health care, immunizations, uh, home um, uh, companionship care, uh, but they do have um, one program that not a lot of people are familiar with, and that's where the money from this fundraiser we're going to talk about goes, and that's called their Cooking Matters program. And this is a curriculum of classes for different sizes of families, singles, uh, many different um, types of groups of people that the VNA offers to um, an organization who wants to bring them in and assemble the class members. Uh, they have a professional chef and people who do actual hands-on training. It's usually a six-week, a uh, couple hours a day class. Okay. And they receive nutritional and buying information as well as how to prepare nutritionally adequate uh, 
economically feasible and easy to prepare meals. Okay, and this um, fundraiser for you guys have been doing for the past few years. Um, so what is the cooking for VNA? It is a chef competition, actually. Uh, at one time we did um, what we call celebrity chefs, just people in the community that like to cook something. Now we are using professional people from uh, various types of food businesses, restaurants, and so forth. And we actually have their uh, uh, food that they prepare for the evening uh, judged professionally, and there's an award given. <clears throat> there's also a People's Choice Award, and there's an award for the best uh, artistically decorated demonstration table. So they all demonstrate their um, item, and then the uh, Mid-America Center, where the event is held, prepares enough of that same item for the guests to eat. So it's like a station buffet, a okay. cocktail buffet, as it were. It's different than many fundraisers. Okay, um, and it's what day is it on? April 16th, it's a Thursday, 6 o'clock in the evening, runs until about 8 or 8.30, and um, the um, food sampling part of it, which really ends up being a complete meal for you, lasts about <clears throat> an hour and a half of that time, and then the dessert is served to the table, and the VNA talks a little bit about their uh, services, particularly the cooking matters, and the awards to the chefs are given. Okay. Well, it sounds like a very good evening, and we're looking forward to being there. So thank you for being here, Marguerite. Thank you. <laughs> Stick around. More Council Bluffs news after the break. Hey, everybody. Heart disease affects one in every three women in America, but you can fight back. There's no time to lose. Mothers, sisters, daughters, families, and friends, it's time to shout louder, stand stronger, and demand change. Let's go. To the Batmobile. Dang it. To the invisible jet. Dang it. Together, we can put an end to heart disease. It's time to go red for women. I could use your help. Yeah! Learn more from the American Heart Association at www.goredforwomen.org. At Council Plus Savings Bank, you still get personalized customer service. We have identity safe checking with LifeLock, identity theft protection. You get personal mortgage lending to fit your needs now and in the future. You get business banking with the latest technology because saving you time saves you money. At Council of Savings Bank, you get people who answer when you call and local employees who are actively involved in our community. Council of Savings Bank, hometown banking the way it used to be. How can I help my daughter with her reading? Searching for help with Dachshund Reading. No. <laughs> Let me try. Sarah's bright, but when she's reading, she has trouble sounding out words. Playing world music. What? I give up. Wait, I was trying to show you how Sarah feels every day. Frustrating, isn't it? Redirecting to understood.org. Join parents and experts at understood.org, a free online resource about learning and attention issues to help your child thrive. Hey, going out like that? Yeah, why? Well, um, what would the neighbors think? <laughs> Look what I have. Mr. Bird, remember? Bark, bark, bark. We're just playing. We're just playing. I'm trying to get you out of here. Even still. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. They said I couldn't dream. Called me a piece of trash and swore that's all I'd ever be. Said a bottle couldn't see the ocean. Give up. Go back to the dumpster. But I didn't listen. I made my way. And now. I've always wanted to be. Hello, I'm Sean Crawford for the Reaver Beat. Many students need jobs not only to get money to pay for school, but to gain real life experience. And the best way to get a job is through Iowa Western's Career Fair. 
You could say this is like shopping for a job, a mall of opportunity inside Iowa Western Student Center. It helps us meet people face to face and explain the kind of company that we represent as well as the jobs that we offer. And in these days, the job search means applying online. It's difficult to get that first impression face to face time. The career fair benefits both the businesses and future employees. So far, people have shown some interest and been able to take pamphlets and packets, and, and even professors uh, are able to pass on the information too when they, when they stop and talk with us as well. From Ameristar to Westside Community Schools, to G4S Solutions, organizers say the Iowa Western Career Fair has plenty of different businesses to fit what IWCC students are looking for in a job. I went from the Regency Hotel to First National Bank to the Wolf Construction over there. I just feel like these are a bunch of good opportunities that I need to take advantage of while I'm in school. Part-time, full-time, and all the places seem like they're really flexible for college students. That's what excites me. Employers hope most of these jobs have the experience some students can go to use in their career after they graduate. We've got a department of 54, 54 sworn officers, I think, and we're going to be hiring five here in, in, in May, so that's a, that's a, that's a big number. G4S is actually a global company um, as far as security goes. We have a technology side, but specifically what we're hiring for is more of the physical security. Many of these students have a great opportunity for employment, and with the different variety of businesses, students might not just end up with a short-term job, but rather a long-term career. For the Reaver Beat, I'm Sean. John Crawford. The thunderstorm that hit the metro April 1st left one resident's home damaged. These pictures provided by backyard tree experts show what's left of a tree that got struck by lightning. According to the company owner Leanne Hughes, the residents are safe. Still to come on Council Bluffs News, these dogs and cats are looking for the forever home and pets of the week. And stick around for our weekly events calendar. We'll be right back. Create new opportunities and expand your knowledge with Iowa Western's continuing and career education. It was really intimidating to go back to school, but Iowa Western made me really feel like I could do it. Our goal is to help students achieve success from education to employment. Learn more, including information on extra benefits for Iowa residents at iwcc.edu slash continuing underscore education. You make me wear my bike helmet. You taught me never to run with scissors. And to follow the swimming rules. You tell me to stay away from drugs. To always buckle my seatbelt. So why do you keep a loaded gun in your drawer? How safe is that? You ask them to follow some safety rules. Now they're asking you. In fact, they're counting on you. Never let your gun get into the wrong hands. Remember, always lock it up. Visit ncpc.org. What do you think it would be like to teach? Chances are, you have no idea. Teachers today are breaking down obstacles, finding innovative ways to instill old lessons, proving that greatness can be found in everyday places, and that you don't need to be famous to be unforgettable. That's what it's like to teach. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. Time now for Pets of the Week. Served by Toby Jack's Mineola Steakhouse, home of the Thursday Night Taco Ride. Hello, I'm Terry with Midlands Humane Society, and this is Sheila here helping me today. We've got two friends that have grown up together. We'd really like to get adopted out together. We've got Carlos, he's a little terrier mix, and we've also got Sadie Rose, she's a German Shepherd. Two beautiful dogs, very friendly as you can see, very bonded. Um, they will be spayed and neutered, microchipped, and up to date on all shots. They're both good dogs. Um, they came into us as owner surrenders. We would like to find him a home together. The adoption fee for both will be $120 this month. 
So if you're interested in um, either Sadie Rose or Carlos, Carlos's file number is 15163. Sadie Rose's file number is 15164. This beautiful 12 year old Jazz. She's a German short hair. She was an owner of Surrender. She's been here quite a while at Midlands Humane Society, so we'd like to find her a great home. Jazz's file number is 14231. Again, this is Jazz. And she is 12 years old, but she's got a lot of energy and a lot of love to give. This is six month old Sugar. Sugar's spayed, up to date on all shots, and microchipped, and she's looking for a great home. She came into us as an owner of Surrender. And Sugar's file number is 15141. 15141. This is Tripod. Tripod is a unique three legged cat. He's nine years old. He's neutered, up to date on all shots, microchipped. He's a lovable, sweet guy. And like I said, he's three legged, and his three legs don't get him down. He's very calm, lovable, and just loves to sit on your lap. Tripod's file number is 15001, 15001. If you'd like to see any of the animals we talked about today, or view any of our other ones, you can come down to Midlands Humane Society, 1020 Railroad Avenue in Council Bluffs, Iowa. Time now for our weekly events calendar. The Council Bluffs Interstate Program is having a public meeting Thursday, April 9th, at its headquarters located inside Mall of the Bluffs. You can learn more about increasing construction, impact on travel, and much more by visiting with planners from 4 to 6 p.m. An official presentation will begin at 4.30. Methodist Jenny Edmondson Hospital is hosting a free PVD health screening also on Thursday. The event from 5 to 7 p.m. is non-invasive and detects if you are at risk for peripheral vascular disease which affects blood vessels outside of the heart. Meet at the outpatient surgery at the east entrance. You can hike through the Lust Hills Sunday, April 19th at Hitchcock Nature Center for the Earth Adventure Scavenger Hunt. With teams made up of two to 10 members, groups will be assigned different times to find clues along trails. Pre-registration is required by Monday, April 13th. Call Kelly at 712-328-5834. All ages are welcome and cost is $5. Thanks for watching this week's Council of Bluffs News. CBTV is always looking for your feedback. You can send questions or comments to CBTV at iwcc.edu. Call 712-325-3312 or find us on social media. We're on Facebook and Twitter. Just search CBTV17. Remember to keep it here for the latest scores and updates for local sports in your community by tuning in to the Bluff Sports Zone with J.J. Davis. For your Council Bluffs News, I'm Marie Zeitner. See you next week.